A couple of people have come to me and they've asked, what is the actual magnification of my setup? And quite honestly, some of the setups I don't know. When you have a lens like the Canon, which we know is a one-to-one -one on a full frame camera, we can easily tell what the magnification is. But what if you have a weird setup like the Tokina that is reversed? What is the magnification of this lens? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can work out your setup's magnification. Hello, my name is Stuart Wood and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be talking about your setup's magnification. We are going to get technical in this video, but I'm going to try and drum it down so it's as easy as possible to understand. So let's pick a lens. We're going to go with the good old fashioned Canon 100mm L series lens. Now we know for a fact that this is a one to one macro lens. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how you can work that out. And you're going to need several things to work out your setup. And there's two different areas that we are going to be talking. We're going to be talking about the optical magnification, that is the physical magnification that your lens actually does. We're also going to talk about effective magnification, which takes into account the camera's sensor size. We're going to need two things to work out the magnification of your setup. The first thing you're going to need is to know the size of your sensor. So if you take your camera, make a model, go to the manufacturer's website and have a look at the physical size of the sensor. That is what you're going to need. You're going to need to write down the longest side in millimeters, which in the case of my EOS R, which has a 36 by 24 millimeter sensor, that's a CMOS sensor. So the number we want off there is the longest one, which is the horizontal length, and that is 36 millimeters. Once you know that, you're going to have to get yourself one of these. This is a ruler. And more specifically, you want a ruler that has a measurement of millimetres on there. To keep things really basic, I'm going to be using the Canon 100mm lens. This is a one-to-one -one magnification lens. That way, I can show you the maths that are involved in working out what your camera magnification is. Okay, so what you need to do is go into manual focus. So let's turn the automatic focus off. Focus your lens to the closest focusing distance on this lens. It's around 30 centimeters. Okay, then I need to set up my ruler. So the left-hand side of the ruler, where your millimeters measurements start, you want to put that over to the left-hand side of your frame. One thing you got to remember is you don't need to be absolutely precise because you're only going to get a rough estimate. And then what we'll do is we'll round up or round down to get your actual magnification. Okay, so you can see from that footage on there, I'm getting roughly around 35 millimeters in my frame. So we know the sensor size is 36. We know we are seeing 35 in there. So we need to do the calculation. That is simply this. It's your sensor size in millimeters, which in this case is 36, divided by the amount of millimeters you can see in that frame, which works out on this setup to be 1.02, which is a one-to-one -one magnification. So we already knew that from uh, the lens because it is a one-to-one -one macro lens. But what happens if we go putting extension tubes onto this setup? Well, now we can work out what we can get our magnification to. So the people out there that have a 100 millimeter lens and they want to know how can they get it closer. You know, you want to know, you know, is it two to one? Is it three to one? This is how we can work it out. So that's what I'm going to do now. So we're going to go maximum amount of extension tubes. This is going to be 65 millimeters of extension tubes. So again, I have to set my lens because with the OSR, when you turn it off, it alters the focusing. Readjust that again. So double check that your lens is at the closest focusing distance. But we are going to do the same thing again. I'm going to bring in the ruler until the left hand side of the ruler is on the left hand side of the frame. And from that, we can see 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 millimeters. So we do the calculation again, which is 36 divided by 19, which gives us a 1.8 magnification lens. So this is now effectively a 1.8 lens, which is almost two to one. But what if you want to get further? Let's add on Rhinox onto this setup. So for anyone out there that has 
the a 100 millimeter lens which is a one-to-one -one lens this effectively with the Rhinox and with the extension tubes is the maximum magnification you are going to get before adding in crop factor or cropping in post another way to get more magnification but if you crop in post you're also uh, adding in artifacts so let's have a look at this now okay so we are getting 11 millimeters now so let's do the maths on that that is 36 millimeters again that's the size of the sensor in millimeters divided by what we can see in the frame which is 11 that comes out at 3.2 times magnification so you can get 3.2 magnification with all of this setup so now from a teaching point of view i can actually tell you what magnification the setups are actually doing let's turn this off now because this brings me to a very interesting point so what happens if you're using a crop sensor camera let's work out what the magnification is of our 100 millimeter lens on the crop sensor camera <laughs> you can understand how frustrating it can be to have all of this out in the field which is why i went and bought the canon mpe 65 mil lens it can get very frustrating having to swap all this around right all right so we are going to be doing the same again so i now have my canon 100 millimeter one-to-one macro lens on my uh, 650d which is a crop sensor camera so again we're going to go over to the computer and we're going to find out what the sensor size is in this camera this is a 22.3 millimeter by 14.9 millimeter cmos sensor so again we take the longer number which is the horizontal number of 22.3 we're going to divide that by what we see in the camera which is roughly 22 so 22.3 divided by 22 equals a one-to-one -one magnification why is that i know you're thinking you're thinking it should be around 1.6 because of the, the crop factor of the uh, camera put in a one-to-one -one macro lens onto a crop sensor camera or a micro four thirds camera does not change the characteristics of the lens it is still a one-to-one -one magnification lens what's happening here is because you've got a smaller sensor it's only capturing a smaller part of the image that's coming through this lens which gives you a perceived magnification so to work out the effective magnification of this setup is you need to work out your optical magnification which in this case is again one to one and then times that by the crop factor of your camera now in this case the crop factor of the 650d is 1.6 so if we do one times 1.6 we get a, a effective magnification of 1.6 so that is your effective magnification again optically it's still one-to-one -one, but effective magnification is 1.6 so now you know how to work out your camera's magnification this lens on a micro four thirds body would be giving you a two to one magnification so i want to take everything that we've learned in this video and i want to know an answer to something i've been asked now remember this picture here susan we took that on the eos r using a reversed manual lens and I want to know what magnification that lens is. And now using our new found knowledge on how to work out your camera's magnification, we're going to find out once and for all what the magnification is of this lens reversed and what the magnification is of that image that I like so much. Right, so first of all, I need to focus to the closest distance, which is there. And I'm going to go to 2.8 on there. Now, if you remember from the video, the downside of this setup is the working distance is so small that it's practically not really worth it unless you're photographing a captive bred spider that is not spooked very easily. Okay, so we are seeing 15, 16, 17, 18 millimeters. So let's work at that out. So that's 36 millimeters, which is the size of my full frame sensor, remember? divided by 18 millimeters which is what we can see in the frame there and that gives us a two to one magnification the fantastic lens um, it is a really good option for you to get into macro photography is reverse mounting a manual lens 
but that is what that setup is giving me. So again, that is how you can work out your optical magnification and your effective magnification if you are indeed using a crop sensor camera. So let me know in the comments below what your current setup is actually doing. Uh, mine is going anywhere from one to five times magnification, depending on the lens, of course. But I would be interested to know into what your magnification or go-to magnification is. Currently, my go-to magnification is three times macro. One to three times macro, I find, is very easy, handheld. Above three times, it gets a little bit difficult. But I hope you found this useful. Again, it is a bit of a technical um, video, so I hope I've drummed it down enough that you can understand how to work out your magnification. If you don't, let me know in the comments below. But for now, I want to thank you for getting to the end of this particular project. Go off, work out your setup's magnification, and I will see you in the next video. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can have a... We are going to be talking tech. No, techie. We are going to be getting... We're going to be talking about... And then we are going to be talking about effective magnification, which is... And we're going to be... And then we're going to be talking about effective magnification, which is what takes into factor like crop. We are also going to talk about effective magnification, which takes into effect the crop. We're also going to talk about effective magnification, which will take into account. We're also going to. <laughs> oh, I'll start writing little scripts out for these. This one's a technical one. So to start with, you are going to need a couple of things. The first thing, and I haven't opened it. Uh, there we go. Down side. So I want to know what is that? Forget it. Forget that.